So what do you think? Alan, or it's Alvin, isn't it? Alvin Bragg. What is going on? Is he dirty? We're going to talk about that. And then Alan Weiselberg. Does he feel responsible for bringing up Trump? Um, so I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>
Let's get a uh, chiclet ready, just in case. You can hear them right on up in the music kitchen. <coughs> so staying, getting out of troubled water is challenged by theft and betrayal. <coughs> Excuse me. The base of the reading. A lot of six and seven, so six of fire. That's the uh, six of wands, and the six of wands is victory. So here we see playing just the perfect concert to the uh, captive uh, audience up here. So this was the base of this whole thing is is Alvin Bragg playing to his captive audience. Is he actually really playing to the people who voted him in? Is this what they would have wanted? If, if, if he was playing to people who had paid him off, these are too many people. Yeah, so yeah, I think he's, this could be something to do with that to his political base. Are they the raging, but he's a Democrat. Uh, the past of this reading then is the five of fire, the five of wands. This is in the past, this is pointless arguing. Not deadly, although it, sh it shows uh, two skeletons here fighting, which again, what's the point in them fighting? They're already dead. So the five of wands. And the sky this as to whether Alvin is dirty is the ace of swords. Truth, justice, rules, and law. I mean, that's in the sky. So that's what's aspired to. Huh. Maybe he's, he's, he's the real deal and not a bad guy. It's not what I think, but... And then the final outcome for the first part of this diet at Cross, uh, Alvin, uh, are you a dirty bird, is... Um, so this is the star. Wow. This is hope. This is uh, the shining light. This is uh, uh, the, the starry night uh, where, um, you know, your pathway is revealed, although it's still obscured. It's still dark. But um, so that's interesting. I think he's a good guy. My, well, let's do um, let's do four more cards. Alan Bragg. So we'll need to watch his 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 life over the next few years. Nothing to say that he couldn't do something that makes him rich. He might uh, write a book. Uh, he might somehow do something that makes him a wealthy person. Even a, pr a pr private practice, after having been uh, this Manhattan District Attorney, he could run a very lucrative private practice, probably make millions of dollars. But uh, Alan, uh, Alvin Bragg, are you the real deal or are you dirty? And so far, it looks like you're kind of the real deal. Uh, the very self of that question as to whether Alan, Alvin Bragg is the real deal is the three of gardens. The uh, gardens are pentacles. The three of pentacles is uh, putting something together for public display of value. Pentacles are value, gardens are earth, and pentacles. Um, so yeah, this is collaboration to put something together uh, beautiful. This is interesting. So I think it's the real deal. Um, the environment that that's in though is this three, uh, is a broken heart. Three of Swords is a broken heart. And you can see these three swords here just uh, missing that heart. So a broken heart. So is this really something that matters to him? And then the hopes and the fears for this, the Two of Gardens, so that's the Two of Coins, keeping a thing uh, balanced, finding that perfect balance, the perfect balance of the value that's involved here. And the final outcome as to whether Alvin is a dirty bird, and it doesn't look like he is, is the Seven of Fire, Okay, the Seven of Wands. I'm having a hard time remembering what the Seven of Wands is. I'm going to look it up just to make sure I don't mess up. Seven of Wands. Wands, 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 Wands. Can't read it. Termination. Courage. Defense. Oh, this is great. So, yeah, this is uh, typically depicted in the Rider right Waite deck as the guy. He's up on a cliff. He's got a wand. He's holding. He's, he's defending uh, himself. Again, six other ones poking up from under the um, oh, under the cliff. So the final outcome for this is really fighting against enormous odds. I think he's a good guy. So we start off with, I'll read it one more time, uh, Six of Winds, which is uh, moving out of troubled water. We see this guy soaring uh, in the sky, but it's challenged by what? The Seven of Winds, which is theft and betrayal. And it's all underpinned by the Six of Fires, you know, playing to the choir. Uh, then in the past, it was this five of fire, which are wands. These are fiery wands. Five of wands, which is you know pointless uh, arguing. Oh, 
Maybe he felt like um, this, the suit directly against Donald Trump was was this pointless arguing. That's in the past. And then in the sky is truth, just as rules law, a great big ace of that. And the likely outcome of this is the star shining light on a, an obscured situation. And then the very self of that question as to whether he's a dirty bird, we get the three gardens putting something together beautiful, actually, for public display, and it's in the environment of a broken heart. The hopes and the fears for it with this two of gardens is just finding that value balance that he has to find. And then in the end, with the seven of fire, is just being the one who's fighting off all those issues coming up. I think he's the real deal. So now we're we'll going to the next one. So now we're going to talk about uh, Alan Weiselberg. So that's an interesting theory. You know, he's left over from the old Fred Trump uh, days. And he would have taught Donald all about all these uh, shady tax deals, which to tell you the truth, in the 70s, and uh, I don't think it was that uncommon of a thing, honestly. Uh, I think it really was the case that everybody's doing it. But then um, it just got cured. And think of what, about what he got. Free cars, a place to stay, uh, kids in school. I'm sure there's more. I'm sure he helped the uh, Trump organization hide and cheat and steal and overvalue and undervalue and manipulate and lie. Of course. But before we do too much on that, let's have a real quick meditation for uh, the Allen situation. Yeah. Okay, so just get fully switched over to Alan Weiselberg. So was this done out of some sort of feeling of responsibility? Um, you uh, taking that plea, uh, but then you only got five months, which isn't bad. Which ain't bad. And then in the end, um, again, did you and Donald buy off? Um, uh, Alvin Bragg, and from the previous reading, it looks like no. But uh, let's see. So we're going to do uh, six cards for Alan Weiselberg. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Alan Weiselberg. Yeah. You had to teach Donald what he learned so masterfully to do. A single higher card of that, the Hierophant, the structure by which a thing is 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 governed. So he was um, the bones of all of this. It was Alan who you went back to to figure out how to get it done. Not to say Donald didn't learn a few things along the way. Could call it, uh, touch Alan and say, hey, let's do what we did uh, on that other deal. Okay? But this is five times bigger. And Alan going, okay. Yeah. Trump had the balls. Alan had the uh, brains. The uh, challenge to that being the structure of all of this is, um, so we're asking, does he feel uh, responsible? And so with this four of winds, uh, this four of swords is uh, knowing when to take a rest. Remember, in the typical Rider Waite deck, the four of swords is a kind of a coffin or sarcophagus, sarcophagus with three swords hanging up on the wall next to it and one kind of at the side of the uh, resting warrior. Uh, don't get up before, uh, don't get up too soon at your peril. And you see this four of winds here, this four of swords, is taking a good rest. This guy's got his eyes closed. He's, he's kind of in a, in, a, in a meditative position. He's really considering the situation before he goes much further. But if you I don't know if you've ever kind of a little bit deeply meditated, but you're very earnestly aware of everything's around you in those moments when you're truly just going into yourself. So the challenge to being the structure of that is um, knowing when to, to take a break and get this done properly, and it went too long. <coughs> seven of Winds, again, is Seven of Swords is um, Theft and Betrayal. It's the base of the whole thing, is Theft and Betrayal. The past of this thing is the world card, beginnings and endings. So something has definitely come to an end. <coughs> something else is about to start. So the Three of Tides, the Three of Cups is um, celebrations. So yeah, so this is the celebra celebratory uh, aim of this whole thing. Did uh, Alan Weiselberg feel responsible like a dad would? And then the final outcome for this uh, dyadic cross is the Ten of Wands. And the Ten of Wands, why am I having trouble with Wands today? Ten of Wands, burnout, obligations, uh, responsibility, yeah, just really being overwhelmed with the burden of the whole thing, all of that action. 
I think that's actually what it was. So Alan uh, Weiselberg, and then for the last bit of this, let's just say, let's change the subject now. Alan, Donald, did you pay off Alan Bragg? Did you, did you, Alan, and with Donald, or by yourself, pay off Alan Bragg? So for that question, Ten of Tides. So that's the Ten of Cups. So this is like familial passion, okay? This is just like a gender-changing amount of, of emotions here. <clears throat> in the uh, environment of, wow, uh, number four is the Emperor, but it's represented in this uh, deck as war. Wow. So all of this familiar, so you're fighting for, wow, all of that. Almost like a, a, a lord or a king or a, oh, wow. Well, it is futile. Uh, if uh, you E D A L F A E U D A L, I forget how to spell. Okay, then the hopes of the fears for this as to whether did you pay off Alan? So far, it's saying this was generational emotion. Uh, this was a war. And then the King of Fire. So the King of Wands is saying, I took the action I had to as a king, considering himself the king. And then this is, uh, wow, the final outcome for this question as to whether he or. Um, Donald paid off Alan. It could be that he did. Even though the previous reading seems to show Alvin as a as a decent guy, this reading seems to show that uh, Weiselberg, in that respect, uh, needed to be the magician to pull off uh, whatever he needed to because of this feeling of responsibility. That's kind of the uh, the dad of the uh, mafia situation here. Never would have guessed it would come out like this. What do you think? Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. So let me know what you think. Uh, put something down in the comments. Tell me what you want me to read on. I'll read on that. You know, make a suggestion. And, um, you know, tell me what you think otherwise. Uh, how should, uh, what should I be talking about on this channel, really? Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. So this Japaridze tarot is amazing. They're by Nino Japaridze. Now, she's a Georgian artist. Georgia, not the United States. Georgia, Europe. Uh, uh, and um, so these are beautiful. Even the, the packaging is wonderful. It's shiny and glossy. It's a nice, you know, if you gave this as a gift, you'd feel like, wow, that was a really nice gift. The guidebook is so amazing. The text in this guidebook is by someone named Steve Lucas. And uh, his story is interesting, and it kind of goes over that in, in the guidebook, how he came to know her. And uh, he's a fellow a couple of years uh, younger than me, lives in New York. Uh, an art uh, enthusiast and gallery owner, and he happened to meet uh, Nino, as a matter of fact, uh, on a uh, trip to Paris, about 2008, I think it was, where they, uh, he, she was exhibiting her art, which I understand she's been doing for years, I mean, since she was a child, and, um, and so they came to an agreement that she would do uh, some depictions of the major arcana about six months down the road. That was about finished, and he, he talked to her about doing the rest of the cards. That took about another year, so she's probably got two years into the... All of these are full-size, whatever full-size is for her, paintings. And uh, I can imagine that anybody would love having uh, some of these uh, works of art uh, in their home, framed. Um, and they certainly exist somewhere. So I like to... to um, Spread these cards out like this so that uh, if you don't look at cards very often, you can get a sense of what a whole pack looks like. And um, and the only difficulty with cards like these, this kind of surrealist art, is that you really need to know uh, what your divination of the uh, Rider Waite system is going to be. So they're beautiful cards, and I love using them. Hey, I'm Mark. It's been my journey through tarot. I'm going to do it all again tomorrow if you want to come, so ciao for now. really make a big difference. Thank you.